In this video, you will learn how to install and configure Isinga agent to monitor your MySQL source and replica servers in your clusters. If you haven't installed Isinga yet, you can follow the step-by-step -step video link in the description below. Now let's get into it. As you can see, I've already SSH into my Isinga server, as well as my MySQL source and replica servers. Every command that we will use needs to be executed by root. So, first and foremost, we must change as root users. By the way, the link to the procedure that I used to set up my SQL is in the description below. After changing as root user, we can now proceed with adding the Isinga package repository on both my SQL servers. Go to this URL and we will just copy the commands. The first command is to update the app repository. Remember that we will install Isinga as a satellite or agent on both MySQL servers. So, we must add the Isinga repository to both the MySQL source and replica servers. These are essential tools we need to install. First, we're going to install it on the MySQL source server. Then I'm going to shift to the replica server and install it as well. Now, going back to the Isinga website, I'm going to copy the wget command to download and add the archive key of the Isinga repository. I'm going to do that on the replica server as well. Then let's copy the command that will create the sources list for the Isinga repository. Now let's check the Isinga sources list that we just created. Everything looks good. Let's now proceed with installing Isinga on both my SQL servers. We need to update the packages list to get the new information from the Isinga repository source that we just created. After updating the package list, we are now ready to install Isinga. As I mentioned earlier, we are going to use Isinga agent. Isinga provides a setup wizard that is designed to catch every possible configuration for the Isinga agent. To use the setup wizard, Execute Isinga2 node wizard command. Note that I'm currently on the MySQL source server. Once we hit enter, there will be a series of questions. On this first question, since we are going to set up this server as an agent, type Y. And hit enter. Here, we can just hit enter since the wizard already detected the server's full hostname. 
Now enter your Isinga master server. In my case, my Isinga master server is isinga.lazy.test. We want this agent to connect to the Isinga master, so we are going to type Y here. Next, the wizard is going to ask for the IP address or host name of the Isinga master. Enter your Isinga master's IP address or host name. In my case, I'm going to type isinga.lazy.test. I didn't change the Isinga master default port, so I'm just going to hit enter here. I only have one Isinga master, so I'm going to type N for no here. The wizard will now connect to your Isinga master and retrieve its certificate. Check if the certificate is correct to make sure you are connecting to the correct Isinga master. Go back to the Isinga server and generate a PKI ticket to authenticate the connection between the agent and the Isinga master. We just need to run this command on the Isinga master. As the error says, we need to specify a ticket salt in the command. So let's add that to the command this time. Now that we've generated the ticket, let's go back to the MySQL master and copy paste the ticket. Next, it will ask for the Isinga API host and port. I'm going to leave this blank for now since this is optional. Answer a Y on the next two questions since we want to accept configuration and commands from the Isinga master. Leave the next questions as default and press enter. We will not be adding additional global zones for the setup, so let's answer N here. Answer N here since we will be configuring the hosts in the conf D directory. Now that we are done with the configuration wizard, let's restart Isinga for the configuration to take effect. I just installed the Isinga agent on the MySQL source server. The next step is to set up the MySQL replica server. I'm going to fast forward this step since it's almost the same as what I just did on the MySQL source server. By this time, both MySQL servers were already configured with Isinga agents. Now, Go back to Isinga master and we will set up the configuration for Isinga to monitor both MySQL server. First, we're going to create a host configuration file for the MySQL source server. As you can see here, I defined the object host, the address, the check command to check if the host is alive, and define this host running on Linux. Now, save this file and create another one for the MySQL replica server. We are going to define the parameters as the same as with the MySQL source, but we will change the host object and address parameters to reflect the MySQL replica server. Before restarting Isinga, it's a good practice to validate all of the Isinga configuration file. We can do that by running daemon option with dash C. If the validation did not show any configuration errors, we can now go ahead and restart Isinga. Once Isinga has restarted, we can check the Isinga web UI and see if it has started monitoring the MySQL servers. As you can see, Isinga has started monitoring the MySQL servers. On my next video, I will show you how we can use Isinga to monitor database server. So subscribe and hit that notification bell. That's all for now. Drop me your feedback and comments below. If this video helped you in any way, please like share and subscribe. Thank you.